All right, we are here at our little ice cream banana area. Uh, we got a couple of pups that we're going to transplant and put them near the windows along the house so we can start getting better shade since the uh, sun beats the crap out of the out of the west side of the house and there's another storm or a feeder band coming we're getting alerts already um get this one in the front no i'm gonna leave that one well these, these the two in the back are the tallest if you come back here and look yeah i know oh uh, you're getting it because it's easy well no because of um shouldn't we cover that back up with some dirt we will just a little banana well, I'm just gonna take this one. and we're thinking about if we're able to cutting down this one and taking it because those bananas are nice and plump holy crap i just there's a banana under the yeah we just have to let it this it's one. well we've got to dig that out no we don't honey it's going to push through the shed it's a soft it's a herb honey it's not going to push through the shed but we it's should, not going to live. Okay, well, we should transplant it. Or try to get it out, at least. Now, we got to worry about the flooding with the shed. Even though the shed is on higher ground and we have it up, it still floods really bad over here. We should at least cut that out. Where's even one if underneath? It's right there. See it? Look how big it is. Yeah, but there ain't nothing we can do I, about it. I know, but can you at least dig at it and, and chop it down? So that way it's not going to be an issue. Holy cow. You got to pull that sucker out. Look how big that thing was. Yeah. And that was growing under. Yeah. Yeah. We need to look for other pups. Just to be on. Here, fill in this little hole here. I don't see any more pups. Yeah. You're going to try and get that one out too? Yeah too many in one spot well we do want to keep oh yeah there's there was five total wasn't there Yeah, I think from now on, we ought to uh, pull out any that are close to the shed. Let's try to encourage them to grow out from the shed. All right, we want to go with just these three for right now. Yeah, but I still have more. I know. Well, here, fill in the little holes before we leave. That way, if we get caught in another storm, we don't have to worry about coming back to the spot. No, I really didn't make much holes. Okay. All right. So we got two pups here. Okay. So 
So we have a daughter and a daughter. Yeah. So. Yeah, eventually when this one produces its bloom, we're going to go ahead and get that out. Yeah. Because that's too close to the shed and all the pups. Because that's the second time that one's put a pup underneath the shed. Yep. All right. Okay, so this is one of our bedroom windows. And we're gonna go ahead and dig a hole. I'm gonna get the get the plant. Look, that's got a leaf already coming out too. We'll leave that one in the next one. Yeah. Here, let me hold it. Yeah. All right. We should this away. This away. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Now we're gonna backfill it. With the storms coming, I don't think we should worry about trying to water until. We need to water it anyways. You, you gotta so? get the dirt building around it tight. Okay, now right there is the scissor uh, in my basket. See it? Then what you do is you trim off all the leaves except for one. And we uh, will just lay the leaves at the ground because it needs fertilizer. Get those two at the bottom also. Yeah. And then we're gonna leave the one that's coming out because that'll unfurl probably the next day. This one we're gonna do And then half. this one, the last leaf, you half it. And then the plant will do the rest. Cool beans. Then um, we're just gonna water it in here. Once uh, You wanna get the rest of them planted and then we'll water yeah. all at once. All right, so we're gonna plant the other two and then we'll be right back, guys. All right, round two. <laughs> we had a feeder band come through. So we took a break, ate lunch, and Donald is back at it again. Planting more bananas. And he dug up a big one. Where'd you get these two from? From right there in that corner. Oh, out of the, the ones that right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got your clippers? Um, I can go get them. Yeah, because I want to cut this one before we put it up. Okay, hold on. Clippers. <clears throat> Donald had changed shirts. It got too wet. Wow, this one's a big one. Yep. Holy cow. I need you to hold this one up. Yep. I can do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. You're going to have to clip it. <clears throat> oh. 
<laughs> All right, so I got to hold this one. Is that gonna be? Yeah. Is that hole deep enough for it? Yep. Ooh, ouch. Sorry. Kind of hard filming and holding and filming and helping. Yeah. But you're good at it. Yeah, but I, I like it when you do all the work. <laughs> Well, I'm doing all the heavy work. <laughs> There's a passion fruit there. Yeah. Put right. some more on my side. Yeah. There we go. All right. And these guys, they produce their leaves almost one a day, so we'll have uh, pretty decent shade here. It'll take them a little while to take off again. Yeah, about, what, about four days? Something like that. Yeah. And then with all this uh, compost here, and then we'll put the weed barrier on top of that, they're going to love this. Put some on the other side. I got plenty. I know. We should put some around this little itty bitty one. It only had two tiny little leaves. <laughs> we got all this passion vine to put around them. I know. But I mean, still, we should put some banana leaves around it. We got plenty of leaves still. Share the gold. Goodness. There's a hubcap under our house. Where? Behind this brick. Huh. Yeah. Freaking hubcap. There ain't no telling what we'll find underneath oh my here. Yes. I'm. I'm. Oh, yoy, yoy. I have no words for half the stuff that we find on this place. So we were able to play at one, two, three, four, five. I, they're all ice cream bananas, right? Yeah. Nice. All right. Let's, um, we should probably tend to these guys here too. Yeah. Um, I did some yesterday. Is that a bloom? Yep. <gasps> we got a bloom. Look at that, guys! And that's a banana bloom. Oh, here's a good passion fruit. Oh, put it on the deck. So this one, all right. So this is the this is the pup to that. The daughter. The yeah. daughter. Yeah, because look, I, is that now? That's your ginger. Yes, that's ginger. That's ginger, and it's all... See, what happened with that passion fruit, with us tearing apart, it pushed everything that away. That's all right, it'll... All right, so now, we're taking all this compost, and we're going to put it around the banana trees, because the banana trees are heavy feeders. They just love this stuff. But it helps us, because we don't have to worry about carrying it off and putting it somewhere we just feed it to the bananas got a little bit more honey oh yeah and then we gotta you know what then we'll get the i we'll get the metal rake and we'll see if we can rake this ground even yeah we may need to get because right where you're standing is a dip yeah from whatever they did but i'm saying the uh because i wasn't planning on putting the bananas here yeah so we kind of changed the plans the again off that i got it's six foot wide. well we can cut it in half now because... i'd rather use that for when we do the deck area okay we got to go back out 
I'm sure Walmart will have some. Yeah, well. We'll play it by ear right now. But this will be, yeah, see, right where you're standing is a big day. Oh, and there's more bricks here. That's right. We put these bricks at the end, remember, to try to save the boards. Do you think we should pull these bricks up? What's that? This pipe, irrigation pipe. Yeah. We're gonna put a walkway through here. Yeah, we probably should bury it a little bit. Yeah, so what we had, or what we did was um, the irrigation pipe that goes for these banana trees. Oh, did you bury that sprinkler head? That was right here. <laughs> I'll, I'll find it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna just I what just put it just enough under the ground yeah just enough to that way we can walk with no problems because we're gonna have blocks yeah over now the voles and whatnot aren't going to bite into it are they no all right so we don't have to worry about digging it back up and if it does if they do they're not going to make huge holes. Yeah. We'll just irrigate. <laughs> oh, there's a piece of wood. Yeah, the sun's back out now. There's all kinds of crap under here. I know. There's glass bottles. I, I'm already picking up glass on the other side. Ooh, careful. There's a... Yeah, that's that old irrigation line that I ran. Oh, you're chopping it? It's in the way. Oh. I thought we would reuse it, but I guess not. We can work on that part when we get over to, when we tear down the deck. Yeah. Right now, we're just trying to do little things in between the storms. Yeah, ooh, it got humid. Yeah, it got humid fast. Stupid sun. <laughs> but, here's another little tiny, this one was kind of, eh. Banana rack. Um, I don't know. That's too hard. And then we have another one over here that was kind of so so. I don't know. Do you think these two racks are ready to come out? Do you think we could take them out now and use them for um, banana fries? I'm not quite ready yet. Not ready yet? Okay. But yeah, it's. We couldn't get to the leaves. Oh no, this one is. Look how plump they are. Well, that's what I was looking at. This one's all right. It's a sad little banana rack. Sad, sad it's little banana. It's so banana. sad. It is so sad. But, well then, you know, before we do anything further, then let's chop this guy down and mm. get the rack, or the rack harvest. Yeah, be careful. You don't want to All right. Are you hot, honey? Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's starting to rain again. I can feel it. Yay. All right, so it is sun shining and raining at the same time. Welcome to Florida. The saddest little banana. That's got to be the smallest banana rack we've ever done. Dang. 
that's okay. They'll, it, they'll make good little um, fries. banana fries. All right, so when a tree, a banana tree gets done, oh, producing, you chop it down. It's a, a one and done type plant. Anger management, son? Yes. There is a ants on my camera. What the crap? And we do the same thing. We just chop it up in little chunks. And it goes straight for the compost. For the bananas. And then we do leave a stump. And you leave a little stump. Why? Because you don't want it to rot. This way it'll slowly degrade down. And you're not getting rot down there into the uh, the ball. The root system. Yeah. And that's all you do. And then we the other. We leave these little ones just for the ginger. Yeah. Now we should take some clippers and let's clip the leaves that are on this side, only because if this is going to become a walkway, um, you know, we want to be able to walk without having to worry about. There's that ant again. Got him. He's off the camera. <laughs> All right. Um, let's trim that that one leaf, this tiny one here too. This one. Yeah. And then let's. Uh, whew, gosh, sheesh. Sun is. Let's trim these guys on this side. And then, uh, do you want to do that one by your head right here? This one. Right in front no, of me. No, I don't want to do too much to this one. It's it's producing a bloom. Okay. All right, and I trimmed this one back. Now, um, this moringa. That's got a seed pod on it, but it it was the one that got bent. It'll be all right. All right. Let it go. Let it go. Let yeah. it go. Let it go. That's some real soft wood. It'll just. Yeah. All right. What's the next thing? Evening out the land? Yeah, we got a flat shovel somewhere. We do? Yeah. I thought all the shovels broke, but this one. I thought we had a flat. I think we have a flat shovel back in the, sh the pole barn. If I all right. Well, you do that. I'll rake a little bit, see if I can loosen up some of the soil then. Hey guys, if you like that video, Hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.